हेलो दिस इज डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आय हॉस्पिटल सांगली इंडिया एंड फेको ट्रेनिंग सेंटर इन दिस वीडियो आई एम डेमॉन्स्ट्रेटिंग अ केस ऑफ कॉर्टिकल कैटरैक्ट एंड माय प्लान इज टू इम्प्लांट अ ट्राईफोकल आय ओल पेशंट नीड्स गुड डिस्टन्स इंटरमिजिएट अँड नियर विजन सो and patients ocular conditions are fit for trifocal implantation so i have decided to put a trifocal ir so as i start the surgery i can see that there are some oily droplets which are there over the ocular surface floating over the fluid i start the surgery anyway because it's not hampering the view and uh, as i start the surgery i find that more and more of these oily looking droplets or i would say kind of opacities they start uh, disturbing my vision of course there is some water pooling over there and over that these uh, debris which look like a uh, something kind of uh, oily deposits are disturbing so i decided to put some 2% hpmc to push that away i am avoiding it flushing off by the assistant because i don't want to create any splatter and it looks exactly like the oil lying over the water surface so i know these are the meibomian gland secretions and this patient probably has some meibomian gland disease which has led to release of so many secretions on the ocular surface and this happens sometimes when you applied the lid speculum and as i implant and i have finished the surgery very well i am thinking of these secretions which were there they looked abnormal and they are going to affect this patient's visual quality in the post operative period definitely so i must have missed something so when i check this patient's meibomian gland i found that there are significant meibomian gland dropouts and definitely this patient is going to either land up with a dry eye disease because of the meibomian gland dysfunction and his visual quality may not be that good and as we know that the ocular surface damage and tear cell film instability is because of either mgd disease or the inflammation which is going on and any surgical process is going to add to that there are lot of things which are involved in a dry eye disease it's not a simple disease we can measure it by checking all these uh, different factors but easiest clinical way is to check for the meibomian gland dropouts there are various machines which are available also simple fluorescein staining test tear film breakup time lipid interferometry and schermer test gives you a fair bit of idea how much dry eye is the patient have so if the patient has dry eye even before cataract surgery we have to make sure that the ocular surface is stabilized by all these different things including tear substitutes steroids tetracyclines antibiotics and this is another good device which stops the inflammation cycle of the mgd dry eye i call it ipl or intense pulse light therapy and i also use it quite frequently our patients of cataract surgery are quite demanding uh, irrespective of their age and they are going to use lot of digital gadgets as well and they are going to have lot of dry eyes itching and everything and this may increase after the cataract surgery if patient has some pre existing conditions so we have to plan their treatment before the surgery itself so we should plan the eye drops ointments the different medicines like vitamin d steroids lubricating drops immunomodulators and also the intense pulse light therapy because it is going to relieve them from symptomatic uh, issues and this one of this is one of the treatment which is really helpful so it is important to treat the meibomian gland disease either pre and post cataract surgery to have the best kind of outcome so always be watchful when you are posting a patient for surgery as well as in the post operative period for particularly meibomian gland disorder thank you so much